What's up guys and welcome to a quick podcast review update for the recently released Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales on Disney+. Plus. Um, this was a quick 45-46 minute episode to launch I guess the month of Halloween and horror stories which is kind of like a what if for the Lego Star Wars universe where they rethink certain ideas or kind of do like from a certain point of view as far as different stories that happened. So overall it was a good quick 46 minute episode from the point of view of Poe Dameron and BB-8 where um, he goes against a couple of TIE fighters, his engines go bad and ends up having to launch or land on Mustafar, where Vader is showing off his castle to the Emperor, is going under a remodel, and basically various hijinks ensue. So it's less terrifying and more of a silly take on Halloween. Um, overall, I thought it was a good episode. It was pretty funny, so if you've watched any of like the Lego movies, then you kind of know what to expect and what is going to kind of happen and how silly it can be. So it's kind of a shorter version, I guess, of more along the lines of the Lego Batman movie. Um, so overall, I thought it was a good thing as far as that goes. Um, as far as some of the voice work, I thought it was pretty good. You could tell that, for example, um, Poe was voiced by someone else. You kind of, he kind of has that affectation, but not quite. Um, and some of the various other characters along the same lines, so kind of people doing impersonations of the actual cast members. So can't complain too much there. But when you're listening to the, uh, or when you're watching the show and you're listening to Grabala the Hut. He sounded really familiar to me and I couldn't quite place him until it hit me like halfway through watching it that he sounds like a lot or he sounds a lot like Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force and as it turns out the same guy voices both characters which is why that sounds like or Grabala the Hut sounds like Master Shake so I thought that was a particular note. Um, and then of my favorite scene probably was the fight between Maul, Darth Maul and Grievous where it was basically the Star Wars take on Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Um, the the uh, fight between the Knight and the Black Knight where um, his, various, his various limbs are being chopped off and the Black Knight is still fighting so kind of basically just the uh, Grievous being Grievous and like I've been trained in the um, lightsaber combat but so it doesn't matter who he's fighting against, but then Maul has the force and uses that to his advantage. So overall, a good scene there, or a good scene there. And then, of course, I didn't realize in watching it that there's a droid named NIL-8, which I realized that at the time when it was brought up towards the end by Poe, that it's a shortened droid version, droidification of NIL-8. So I was, I kind of face upon myself there. Um, and then I like the ending a little bit with the whole droid thing that it was kind of a reverse Terminator 2 ending so rather than the droid fighting for the good guys and dying in the fire lava pit this was the bad droid going after the ring kind of along the line I guess I'm more of a mix of Terminator 2 and um, Lord of the Rings where um, the ring goes into the pit and the droid goes in after it so um, pretty nice ending there so if I was to grade it, I'd probably give it about a grade of like an A minus B plus. It was good. What left me wanting more? It wasn't particularly scary, so there's that. So nothing. It was just a good, enjoyable, quick 46 minute episode. So if I was kind of hoping that, they, or I'm kind of hoping that they actually do more, where they release maybe one a week for the month of October or something, where they do various tales, or maybe they bring in various other characters. Even though they kind of did that in this where it's a mix of, you know, um, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader at the Death Star, Poe Dameron and um, the Emperor and Vader, and then you have, you know, Maul fighting Grievous and stuff like that. So, um, as far, I don't know if there it doesn't seem like they're going to do more, um, but if they do, I'm, or I kind of hope that they do do more episodes like this throughout the month of October. So that's all there is for this particular review. Like I mentioned, it is it was a quick review. There's not really too much to say. Overall, it's a fun time um, and it's pretty quick to get through. So um, you don't spend too much time watching it. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback of your own of what you thought, did you like it, dislike it, what was your favorite part or scene, 
or anything like that of, in the show, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is Headphones Nailed Our Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, if you do support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, you get the schedule of upcoming content for October for what's going to be reviewed, what is going to be reviewed as far as uh, movies, TV shows, video games, and all of that good stuff. You'll kind of figure it out, I assume, um, as the month goes on. But if you want that, or if you want early access to that list um, or a reference guide of what's coming up, then definitely support the show on Patreon. Again, that's patreon.com slash PatelN01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.